So this is the color box add-on and we're gonna do a really quick overview of it. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, there is a link in the description, but let's just quickly have a look at it. So the primary things that I wanna show you is the color palette. This is where you can go to websites like Color Hunt and find colors that you really like. So kind of like color palettes, which really, mm, you know, wet your appetite. And so you find the ones that you really like. I found this one. I can download the image itself. And then from here, we can go into the import palettes, locate the one that I just downloaded. There we go, import palette. And now we've got our color palette. whoop de doo Let's just create a new material. What I can do from here is individually select a color, click and drag and place it into there. Lovely stinking jubblies. However, let me just clear all that. What I can do is press this button on the right, the custom import. And then what I can do is go to the folder where I've actually saved quite a few presets already, only four. But let's go custom import and now we've got four color palettes so it's a really good way of just containing the color palettes you like and bringing them up when you want them so the next thing i can do is just create a new color ramp and then i want to grab these four colors just click this button on the right click this one down here there we go now we've got a color ramp based on our palette up here i can now push that over into a material there we go and i can put that into the color doesn't really do much it kind of just does a base average However, if I were to put in maybe like a gradient texture, there we go, and put the color into there, you can kind of see now we've got a gradient. These are all kinds of things that you can be using. Um, we actually might even be able to put a noise texture in. Ooh, I didn't think of that. Color into there. Mm. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? So I do have a link in the description where Cameron from Essentials Elephant goes through it more into detail and a few more extra features. My primary thing that I really like about this is that I can keep my palettes somewhere, you know, with a simple click, in they come in, these are the choices of color, color choices of choice. So hopefully you find this interesting. Let me know what you think about the add-on. Is this something that you would use? Let me know in the comments below.